Hello and welcome to Infinity. Uh, I'm going to do some more of dual toning, this time using the uh, gradient map. So, we just go down to adjustments, go to gradient map, and this you can see here, what it does is it goes from dark through to light here, and this simply um, maps onto here. So dark things go onto red, so there's dark bits here, middle tones green here and blue here. But we need to change this. So I'll just drag off that one there. And uh, we're going to do it in teal and orange because that's the easiest one and it, it works in a lot of situations. We'll reverse that because we're going to do teal at this end and it'll help us change that colour. So we want red right down, blue right up and green in the middle. So if we put that up to uh, about 128 Oh, thereabouts. There you go. So now we're getting this teal colour down here, but we need to change the other end. So let's go to that one. And this one is orange. Now we want red, white right up, blue right down, and green in the middle. So I take this up to 128 there. If you, if you don't, it's not exactly 108. It doesn't matter. You can actually play around with that and see what the best effect you're going to get with it. There's no particular magic to the exact number. So here obviously we've got, uh, you can see where it's going now, so the, the lighter colours here are the orange end and the, the darker ones are the blue one. However, what you're getting doesn't look that great, so you can use a blend mode. And if we go here to the, the overlay in these, the contrast ones, we can look down these. So this is overlay, soft light, hard light, that's pretty yellow isn't it? Vivid light, that's even got some pink in it, linear light, that's very hard, isn't it? So often soft light is the best. So we've made a difference there. And when you do this, sometimes you think, this area is a little bit too teal, I want the C to have not that such a strong effect on this. So I can simply go to the, the where is it, the paintbrush, here we go, paintbrush, make sure I've got a black uh, on that. So I paint on here, I'm going to be painting on the mask. What have I got? A pasty. 20%, that'll do. Fairly soft brush. And I'll paint this over here. And I'll leave this area. And this will paint away the changes we've done. So if I Alt click on that, you can see that's where I've been painting. In fact, you can paint on this. Just to make sure you get to the edges of that. Then we pick, click back on the main image to see that. So that's improved that. So we've got before and after. This is a, a little bit on maybe a bit of the weak side. So if I hit Control J, I duplicate it. There you go, it's done added more. So I basically I've doubled the effect. And that's a bit nicer, isn't it? So you can do this on other images. Again, this is something that works on images, that are some images, not others. It's okay on this one because the lighter areas, we want to put in some orange to that, and that's great. Let's try another one and see what happens if we do this here. So I go to Gradient Map, take out the middle, click on Reverse, just to make this bit easier, turn this to Teal with something in the middle there, and turn that one to Orange with something in the middle there, and take the Blend Mode to something like Soft Light, so what we've got here, what we've got is some of the, the lighter areas there have gone orange. It's, it's not overdone. The sky hasn't gone weird colours. The, the, the rocks improved. Let's have a look at it before and after. You can see the rocks are a bit interesting. The skins here are improved. However, the sea here is gone a little bit on the orange side. So again, we just with the paintbrush, we can mask this out. The only problem with, with you might meet here is going, well, if I, what if I wanted to make the C more teal? Then I have to start putting in extra layers, putting in masking just for that, and I'll add various other things. It's just going to take a bit you know, more time. It can be done, a bit more of a fudge. So overall then, the gradient map, if you want to do teal and orange as being just highlights you know, and shadows, this works just fine. You can do various tweaks on it. You can add extra points on here and adjust those. So I can add a point in here. Here, yeah, look at the way I can move things up and down. So 
you can do extra stuff or just pull that off and it disappears. So there's a lot you can do with this. It doesn't work for everything and it's not the sort of um, teal and orange where you're pushing the reds towards orange. It's simply the light and dark. There you go and thank you very much for watching.